Fun Facts presents the 1954 Mercury Monterey XM 800. Is this a 50s classic car? It is a concept car that was built in 1954. I'm excited, I hope you're excited, and let's get started now. The Mercury XM800 is a concept car created by Mercury and first introduced at the 1954 Chicago Auto Show. The debut in 1954 in Chicago, it was presented with its full name, the Mercury Monterey XM800. The XM, or Experimental Mercury, push car, meaning that it was not drivable, went the 1954 U.S. Auto Show circuit season. Although it was promoted by Ford as an advanced design engineered to go into volume production, the XM800 never passed the concept phase. The show car was designed by John Najjar. He was also responsible for the 1955 Lincoln Futura show car and the mid-engine Ford Mustang experimental sports cars of 1962. Much of the car's appearance and styling cues were later used on the Lincoln Premier, the Lincoln Capri, the Mercury Montclair, the Ford Crown Victoria, and other Ford and Mercury products during the mid-1950s. The concept model was built by Creative Industries of Detroit on a modified Mercury frame with a 1954 Mercury 312 cubic inch 5.1 liter V8 engine with dual exhaust. It features a low fiberglass body with much of its trim was also made out of chrome plated fiberglass and an exterior with four bucket seats, it, excuse me, an interior with four bucket seats. In the early 1957, Ford donated the XM800 to the University of Michigan's Automotive Engineering Lab for use in training future automotive engineers. A March 1957 article in the campus student newspaper gives details as of the then recent donation stating that the vehicle was styled by William Schmidt of Mercury. After the automotive school closed, the show car was auctioned to a private individual who stored in a barn but never returned. It was sold again and stored for almost 30 years before being sold in 2008. The car was restored and made operational and finally drove under its own power in 2009. Subsequently, the car was auctioned in 2010 for 429000 It was shown at the 2012 Chicago Auto Show. The 1954 Mercury Monterey XM800 was a experimental Mercury XM was developed to showcase a new design direction for the firm. In their press release, the Lincoln Mercury News Bureau said it was the most advanced design in a car capable of going into volume production. Unfortunately, this never happened, but the XM800's radical details were included on later models like the Lincoln Premier. The body was designed by John Najjar, and he included some daring elements like a forward sloping front end square rear, rear grille and bespoke bumpers. The press release described the car a four passenger hardtop coupe. The car is lower than any other American hardtop now being produced with an overall height of only 55.6 inches. It maintains passenger comfort by means of new frame construction, a lowered rear floor while its low center of gravity gives better stability on the road. While the prototype display car had a fiberglass body, production units probably would have been of steel. 
alongside the new Thunderbird this XM800 debuted at the 1954 Detroit Auto Show in pearlescent white with a copper colored roof. It was advertised as a highlight of the show and picked up by almost every magazine covering the event. For the first time, the public saw a Ford with rear tail fins and a dramatic coupe body that was full of new design details. At the front were forward canted headlamps, concave front grille, a Dagmar front bumper and functional air scoop. The XM800 was crafted over a 1954 Mercury frame, used a body made entirely out of fiberglass, and this material was extended to the front and rear bumpers, which were chrome-plated fiberglass. This was Ford's first foray into fiberglass and lowered the weight of the car substantially. The fabrication was handled by Creative Industries of Detroit and it was first shown at the Detroit Auto Show in 1954. Inside the XM800 was a well-appointed, including bucket seats, power windows, power seats, power brakes, power steering, and a dash-mounted tachometer. Both the front and rear windows were curved plexiglass. Unfortunately, the XM800 was built only for static display, so the only moving parts of the car were its electric operated features like the motorized trunk and front hood, an experimental version of the new overhead valve. Y Block V8 was installed, but it was, wasn't functional. In recent times, Tom Maruska found the surviving XM800 in a dilapidated but complete condition on eBay. He bought it off Mr. Concept Car, Joe Bortz of Chicago, and then decided to restore the car himself. A major consideration was getting the car ready to drive, which it had never been done before. The major challenge of the restoration was fitting the electrical system, which was non-existent. Furthermore, all the 143 chrome pieces had to be refurbished and a few pieces fabricated from scratch like the 10-piece front grille. Fortunately, John Najjar was able to assist with some of the blueprints and Tom was no stranger to concept car restoration after completing the Thunderbird Italian concept seen at the Barrett Jackson auction. During the build, Tom made some great observations calling it the first Ford product with the forward sloping windshield pillars and wraparound windshield, a feature seen on nearly every car by 1957. He also noted that the dimensions 11.5 inches shorter than any other American hardtop, nearly a full foot. The XM800 is a 5 inch wider and 5 inch longer than any Ford product in 1954. All of Tom's work is currently documented in this extensive article on tbirdsquare.com. When finished, the Maruska drove the XM800 for the first time under its own power in 2009. The results of Tom's excellent work was first seen at the 2009 Meadowbrook's Concourse de Elegance, where Joe Ports and Don Brooks, earlier private owners of the XM800, were on hand to celebrate the occasion. In 2009, RM Auctions sold the XM800 at their Automobiles of Arizona for $429,000. It was described as a one-of-a-kind hardtop of a tremendous historical importance. Many thanks are due to Tom Maruska for his assistance both in and out of this fabulous concept. There will be a link below the video for both articles that I found online. And if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing all the concept cars from the 50s and 60s. We'll be doing all of the sports cars. 
We'll be doing all of the muscle cars from the 60s. We'll be doing hybrids. We'll be doing supercars. We'll be featuring autoramas and we'll be featuring custom car shows. We'll be doing hot rods. We'll be doing all the sports cars from the 50s and 60s, 70s. So there's so much excitement to come. We hope to see you when we upload our next video. Thank you and always take care.